So the biggest thing for Caltech and Rendell for George Kellgren's designs was to design a firearm that was affordable for everybody. So the biggest thing about affordability, you can go one of two ways. You can go and get the cheapest materials in the world, or you can go ahead and get the manufacturing technique that will allow for affordable manufacturing. So that will drive cost more than anything else. You can have inexpensive materials, but a very expensive manufacturing process, and that will drive the cost to the consumer. So the most important thing for George Kellerman was to make an affordable product, and that product lends itself into the manufacturing process. When we started to gain popularity in certain product lines, it became obvious to us that we needed to really ramp up production rates. And uh, we weren't going to change the way in which we make the product. Uh, we definitely still wanted U.S. space steel. We wanted U.S. Uh, componentry. And so it was important for us to figure out a way that can do high volume manufacturing. So over the years, uh, we designed and developed new products. Some of them lend themselves into turn milling processes. Others uh, were for horizontals. And one of the products that we came out with was the P-17 pistol. Now there's a particular part in the P-17, probably the most complex CNC part of the P-17, which is the bolt. Within the year, it was discovered that this is a very popular product for us, and we needed the volume to increase dramatically. We were producing these on two horizontal machines on three shifts, that was six employees. Then uh, one of our programmers kind of looked at the part and determined that the actual sizing of this would lend itself to a Eurotech Rapido, which is interesting because this is entirely square stock and we would have to be feeding rod stock on a bar-fed system. However, looking at this closely, it, we figured out we could probably get away with it. So we started to do some rudimentary programs. We started to do a little bit of uh, experimenting with it. And uh, sure enough, we were able to produce one. We had to get a custom call it, but that kind of was it. Now, interestingly enough, we went from 45 parts per shift on a single horizontal up to 185 parts. And the 180 parts per shift was on a single Eurotech run by a single operator that was able to attend other Swiss lathes. Once we were able to get this thing uh, manufactured and repeatable, it kind of opened Pandora's box and you kind of look at the rest of the factory going, okay, do I need to get another building? Do I have to buy three more machines or can I just get one machine, use my existing infrastructure, and then have our existing footprint that doesn't have to make that one part make other things. And so it's, it's uh, certainly allowed us to take a broad view of all of our processes uh, to see where we can maximize efficiency. The efficiency went up dramatically and where you get to that is that you get cost savings towards the customer because that's kind of what we're known for. Affordable firearms uh, with next generation mechanical technologies in there with, with American made steel and American made components. And so that's what the Eurotech Rapido allowed us to do.